If you are looking to go out for seafood tonight in a restaurant or to cook at home, there's a new website that might help you pick your spot. It is a research project at the University of Victoria which rates local restaurants and grocery stores based on their seafood. Not how it tastes, but whether it is sustainable and whether it's good for the oceans. The university, however, has now pulled the website down. A News reporter Andrew Johnson has the story. The uh, 2125 Maribel T. Bain prawns. Bill Lang says the prawns he serves in the Princess Mary restaurant are delicious, but a new UVic based website says you should avoid them if you're looking for sustainable seafood. The Victoria Seafood Audit Project compiles research done by UVic students into 29 local restaurants and 10 grocery stores. It grades the seafood they offer based on the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch Guide. Green means the seafood is abundant and caught in environmentally friendly ways. Yellow means there are some concerns. And red indicates items caught or farmed in ways that harm other marine life or the environment. Lang says he doesn't have much choice when it comes to his Vietnam prawns. I can't go down to the fisherman and buy from him where I could save a lot of money and, you know, get a better deal. It's what the market bears out there and what we're getting it from a government-inspected plant. The seafood audit may paint a picture some businesses dislike. Several are given what amounts to a failing grade for their seafood selection, while others are just about perfect. We got some nice local salmon as well. The seafood case at the market on Yates fared well, but several items, once again including prawns, are on the avoid list with a similar explanation in response. Sometimes the local prawns are not available and you don't have a choice but to get prawns from other parts of the world. When we contacted the University of Victoria about the website, we were told the research isn't finished and the site was quickly taken down. We spoke with the principal researcher, Dr. John Volpe, who agreed to an interview, but was later told by the school not to speak with us. The university says it wants the restaurants and grocery stores involved in the study to be able to take a look at the site before it's made public. The research appears to have been conducted by students in person and the information taken from menus. Bill Lang says his experience was a positive one. They identified themselves, they said who they were, and I says that uh, you can look at anything on our menu, I'll tell you where I get all my stuff from, and uh, it was fine. However, others may be not so quick to embrace the concept that could keep customers away. In Victoria. And Andrew Johnson joins us now live uh, with more on the story. Andrew, uh, the, the website has been taken down now, but when will it be back up and the information released to the public? Well, Hudson, we've been told by UVic the school may be pushing up the official release of the Victoria Seafood Audit website now that we've let the cat out of the bag, or the fish out of the bag, I guess in this case. Could be back online as soon as tomorrow. We also spoke to one restaurant owner whose business fared well on the rating scale. But he says he doesn't like the idea of restaurants being judged in this way and hopes the website will not catch on. So it's a mixed uh, reaction out there. We'll have to wait and see. All right, we'll keep an eye on it. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.